Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can install and use this new project which is called as Rior. Rior is a Latin word which means to think. Rior is an AI note taking app that runs large language models locally. Rior is a private note taking app that uses AI to organize notes. It automatically links related ideas, answers questions with your notes as context and provides full semantic search. Everything is stored locally and you can edit your notes with an obsidian-like markdown editor. Rior was built right from the very start to run models locally. And the creators of this project believe that running models locally and privately is essential. No one entity should be in control of AGI or AI for that matter and put it behind a black box no matter how open they claim to be. I think that's a uh, pun at OpenAI which I agree with. I mean it's uh, from nowhere it's OpenAI. They have all of they, they have great models chat gpt4 and stuff but they are not open they are their data set is closed their source code is closed and they are not free anyway so having said that let's see how can we install this locally and then how can we use this rior application i'll drop the link to their website in video's description too so let's get started first thing we need to do is to go to this website riorproject.org and then click on downloads once you click on downloads, then it will open a screen like this. Select your operating system. I'm using Windows and I have one GPU with 16 GB of VRAM. But I believe you can also try it out on a good CPU with plenty of RAM. And when I say plenty of RAM, try to have at least 32 gig of RAM for these large language models. We'll be downloading a quantized one in seven uh, billion parameter 4 bit one so let's see anyway so click on downloads i already have downloaded it so let me go and open the file and all you need to do is to right click here and then save as link okay so i'm just going to download it for myself just select all the usual suspects installer is quite simple it seems also if you look <coughs> this it seems that the creator of this models are in London as made um, as they say that this is made in London anyway so that is done let's click on finish and it is going to launch Rior there you go so Rior has been launched it says that welcome to the Rior project yep self-organizing so which directory should I select I'll just go with any directory So I have just gone with the default document directory. Now embedding model, you can select any embedding model. So I'll just go with this PGE base one, medium recommended because, and this is a good model. Embedding model is, um, so embeddings are the numerical representation of your text. So whatever you type in English or in any other language, it converts it into numerical representations or vectors, which is called as embedding through which a similarity or semantic search is done okay so that is then uh, done then you can now um, you can attach any local llm if you already have it you can attach any remote llm or you can even you can use connect to open ai so if i click on attach a remote llm to get for example if you're hosting it through lm studio or any other you can simply give your url here and it is going to use it or you can connect to OpenAI and you just need to provide your OpenAI key which is quite good I like it and then attach local LLM now attach local LLM we would need to download it so you can select your GDUF file click here so it's not there so you would and it is in the document directory so first we need to go to huggingface.co so let me go there so this is my hugging face website so huggingface.co um, now you can just scroll up a little and then you can search for um, hugging face models so you can just type any of the maybe 7 billion one would be good maybe i'll just go with uh, mistral 7 billion one in the quantized way 7 billion 
I'm just looking for any. So I think let's go with Mr. All 7 billion in GGUF format. So let's click here and then click on files. Now from here you can just download any quantized version. Maybe I'll just go with this one. This seems if you look at the status bar it shows you it is just a Q2. So maybe I will go with Q2 or Q3. Let's go with Q3 and then save link as as you can see it is downloading GGUF file in my let's go to the document folder and click save and okay so it's not saving from here so that is fine let's click on it and then from here let's click on download okay so it has already automatically started the download let's wait for it to finish So I have downloaded this GGUF file and I have put it in my documents folder. Let's go here again and then again click on select this file. Select your GGUF. It has been selected as you can see here. Oh, cool. Context length. Let's leave it here. That is fine. You can increase it or let's go with this one which is already selected. Cool. Okay. Click here and because i just have one llm so i will just go with the default otherwise you can have multiple one which is quite good let's click on next it is initializing our vector database which is as i said it stores our vectors or embeddings which are the numerical representation of our text now that is all done you can see that we have already uh, installed it which is quite cool I already have created a dummy text file with some of the science lecture notes. So let me select it and see if it is able to decipher it. Maybe for it to recognize, I've just placed it in a new directory. So let's click on this plus sign on the left hand side. Maybe I'll just call it science lecture create. Okay, now it is not able to detect it from here maybe, okay. but this is the one which it has already detected which is good let me click on create notes here and then i'll just say size notes and then create that is good now you can write your notes here in the middle section so let me paste one of the dummy one which i just mentioned i have pasted it and then let's wait for it and now on the right hand side we can talk with our LLM what are these notes about press enter you might experience some lag but that is ex acceptable that is fine that is expected and this is talking to our local system so let's wait for it to come back There you go. So it has read these notes and it is rightly identified that these notes are about quantum computing. That is cool. Amazing stuff. Yeah, this one is good. I like it. And now let's also try it out with our OpenAI. In order to do that, just click on OpenAI setup as I showed you earlier and then give your OpenAI API key. So you would need a paid account at openai.platform.com in order to use this. I'm, um, I already have put it in and then you can also select your embedding model. I'll just go with uh, this already selected one and then I'll just put our retrieval augmented generation which is the context it takes from our vector database. So that is good. And now again, let's you can um, get, oh, sorry, you can create your notes here. You can just is, give it any size notes or whatever. So I'm going to give my notes again here. And you can see that it is giving us some of the related notes in the middle. Give me some um, research paper on the basis of these science notes about or maybe let it search by itself. 
that's 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 good that is what i was hoping that it would be able to identify that i am talking about quantum mechanics and superposition which is good and there you go it is giving me some of the seminal works from quite well known authors which is great amazing stuff so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed rior if you have any questions or thoughts or if you know of any other application let me know and i'll be happy to review it and if you li like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching